Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on between you and the person that you're thinking about, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call in the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So Spirit is saying for you guys to keep an open mind. Your, your next soulmate or your current soulmate, there may be things that are so different. It's not what you're used to. It's absolutely this person's behavior, the way this person looks or however this goes. It's not your usual type. They may differ. Then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like right now, present moment for a lot of you guys, if you're in a relationship, I feel like there's an energy here of you guys truly retreating, truly like taking, taking a step back. I'm also getting like taking a step back from people, adding other people to your life to your to your to your relationship. I feel like this is you and your partner needing to retreat. This is you and your partner needing to stop allowing other people into your into your business, into your business. That's what I'm getting in that energy. And then we say very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because I do see that for some of you guys you have a new soulmate that's going to be coming into your energy. You have a new soulmate that's going to be coming into your energy and that's what you guys are not seeing. And Spirit is saying for you guys to keep an open mind because they will differ from what you're used to. They definitely will differ from what you're used to. Very soon, you need to decide what it is that you want. Speak into existence what you want and what you don't want. You don't want this, this, and this, but you want this, this, and this. That's a big energy. And we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So for some of you guys right now, present moment, you could be dealing with somebody here and you may truly feel like this person is your soulmate. For some of you guys, I'm also getting like this person, you feel like you need to really and truly work on this relationship, really and truly protect this person from, I don't know why I'm getting for some of you guys wanting to protect this person from your family and your friends. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about your discernment. You've learned some very valuable lessons from past relationships. So now it's like you're trying to keep your person to yourself. That's what I'm really and truly getting in this overall energy. And then we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See that? I like this energy. I absolutely like this energy. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, this is whether you're dealing with someone right now or someone that's going to be coming towards you very, very, very soon. Yeah, that's a big energy. Big, big, big energy. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos in love. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. So I do see communication. I see dating. I see someone offering their cup of love. Someone doing some flirtation. That's, that's flirting energy. The star, Aquarius, energy. Like, this is so dreamy. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're you, there's somebody here that's in your energy. It's almost like giving me a too good to be true energy. Like, this is like wishing upon a star. I don't know why I feel like for some of you guys, you could be going out on date with this person and just kind of look out, look up into the sky and watch the stars. This person could be like into the metaphysical as well. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting in this energy. For some of you guys, it could definitely be an Aquarius or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, but I do see an offer of love. I see an offer of emotions, of feelings here. Give me past energy. Give me past energy, spirit. Two of Wands. So in the past, some of you guys, you kept trying with something from your past for some of you guys. In the past, for some of you guys, you returned to somebody from your past or you were so very indecisive in the past. You were indecisive if you were going to go back or if you were going to move forward. Yeah, there was a big indecisive energy. Give me near future. Near future, we have the Six of Wands in the reverse, though. Why is the Six of Wands in the reverse, Spirit? 
Why is the Six of Wands in the reverse? The Hermit. Look at that. Look how it came out. Virgo energy. Don't go. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you guys in the near future, it's like you're going to start to get go into that Hermit mode. You're going to start to get scared of the feelings, of the emotions. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you guys, you're going to turn your energy away from the relationship to your money, like to your stability. Like for a lot of you guys, you're going to get, there's an energy here of kind of getting scared. Why is that? We're going to get into this because, you know, the hermit, the way I always keep it the way it falls out and the hermit here, this talks about like, not, I feel like it's like you feel some type of way, but you're not too sure. So it's because you're not too sure like this is this is almost giving me like on an intellectual um on like on an intellectual basis whereas you feeling like this is not going to work out so I'm just not going to deal with it that's kind of what I'm getting in that energy like you feeling like something is not going to work out so then you're just not going to you're not going to chance it that's what I'm getting all right my loves so right now present moment we have the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy show me the knight of cups knight of wands there's fear Oh, why do I feel like, oh, okay, nine of cups to two of cups. So again, you guys feel like this is a soulmate connection. Again, nine of cups. I'm telling you, like you feel like there's, there's a good, but there's also a bad energy here. Like now I'm saying bad, but you know what I'm saying? Um, Because you guys, you've been through a lot. You see that? You guys, I feel like there's, for some of you guys, there's an energy here of red flags not too sure they're truly red flags though like that's the thing like there's a night of that knight of wands talks about that in and out energy it talks about somebody here that's not truly being faithful for some of you guys it's like there's somebody here that you're dating or somebody here that you like but you there's an energy here of not truly like you're not sure that you can trust this person you're not sure that this person is ready to commit or this person is ready to only mess with you like be with you like it feels like there's an energy here of you could be dealing with somebody that's been through a lot you've been through a lot and like is this real is this not real for some of you guys is giving an energy of you feel like this person is a soulmate for some of you guys you feel like the sex is good you feel like you and this person you match but there's something here that you can't quite put your finger on about this connection what is this spirit there's something here that you can't quite put your finger on it and I feel like that's why Spirit is telling you guys you, that there's a time for you to get to know each other. And for some of you guys, there's like needing to withdraw from society, needing to withdraw from the outside so you can figure it out. So you guys can truly figure it out. Yeah. What's this red flag, Spirit? What's going on? King of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy with the tower. Wow, I got that in the last reading just like this. Ain't that crazy? Look at that. Just like this, these cards came out in your current position in the last reading. Same two cards. Same two cards. Like you're not trying to shake up your world. Like you, it's like, I'm telling you, bottom of the deck, eight of cups. Look at that. Like you can't, there's the eight of cups talks about returning. You try to walk away, but you can't. Some of you guys, again, some of you guys, you're returning to something from your past for somebody here. Um, but for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of the past is still holding you back. Like past hurt, past pain, past emotions. You're not wanting to shake up your world. Like there's an energy here of while you have feelings, while you want to date, while you want to move forward, you're still, there's a shadow still following you from your past. Whether it's a physical person or the energy of a physical person, of a person itself. Like, it's like a lot of you guys, you're having a hard time letting go of the past, past emotions, past everything and like i feel like this is your energy and i feel like for a lot of you guys then you turn yourself away from it you shy away from it and you focus you put all your energy into your work you use your work and everything as an excuse you use your responsibilities as an excuse just so you don't truly feel why because you don't want to experience another tower moment 
Yeah, because you don't want to feel a, feel another tower, like you don't want to experience another to a tower moment. But Spirit is saying that you do need to take some time. Take some time to truly get to know this person because I do say this is actually is a soulmate. So whether you're in this right now, present moment with this person or you're going to be very soon, very soon you will be. Like very soon you will be. But Spirit is saying for you to keep an open mind. You see that? You guys, you need to keep an open mind, but we also have pay attention to the red flags. You do see red flags. I told you that. I, I saw, I feel this in the in tarot. Like you see red flags and it just, it then you sh like, then you like, oh no, like you, like you don't want to feel, you don't want to experience, but this is, but it is a part of life though. It is a part of life. Yeah. All right. So in the past we have the two of wands. Show me two of wands. Show me the two of wands, Spirit. Okay. So we have the Empress and the reverse. Of course, we know that in the past you 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 were you were giving your power away. In the past, you weren't taking care of yourself the way that you should have. You weren't putting yourself first like you should have. You weren't taking care of yourself. You were stressing out. You weren't loving yourself, nurturing yourself as we see 1111 11 on the clock in the past. Ace of Cups here. You see, you wanted new with the sun. See that? In the past, for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of trying something again. Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. See that? For some of you guys, like that's that's where the issue is. That's where you find certain issues is because you wanted something to work out and it just did not quite work out the way that you wanted it to. It did not. So really and truly, all of this kind of did a number on you in the past. Yes. You see that for a lot of you guys, you were stuck in a posture. You were unable to move on. You had a hard time truly moving on in the past. And for a lot of you guys, this had to do with your family, like a family dynamic, like somebody here that you were building with. This was definitely somebody here that you were building with. Could be a Taurus, a Libra. We have Leo here. And you thought if you tried it again, you thought if you put more time and energy into this, that it would work out. And it just did not work out the way that you wanted it to work out. So that's why right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, you're very hesitant or if you, let's say if you went back to a husband or a wife, you gave them a second chance. You tried this again because I see this in the past. You gave this a second chance. You tried this again. Show me the sun because I feel that I feel an energy of seeing certain red flags where this person is reverting back to their old ways before you actually gave them another chance. Show me the sun. And I feel like that's why spirit is calling this retreat. Like you and this person needing, needing to get to know each other all over again. Like if you took a pause with someone, whether you're married to them or not, I feel like there's an energy here of you and this person, like almost needing to retreat from your normal life and really and truly focusing on getting to know each other all over again. Because while you and this person may have a soul connection, I feel like there's an energy. There's a lot of things that have changed within you and this person. Because you see, remember in the past, you were giving your energy and your power to this person. This person had total realm, total control. But then once you took that pause, once you separated from this person, you found yourself all over again. You started to remember who you were. And then there's some things that changed about you. So you're not the same person. So there is a need to truly get to know each other all over again. Three of swords. See that? I feel like this is the experience. I feel like there is fear. Like, will this truly work? And that's past energy. Like that three of swords talks about heartache and pain, but it also talks about fear in third party. So for a lot of you guys in the past, you tried something again and you were still disappointed. You were extremely still disappointed. You thought that, you know, you thought that things would be things would go right. You thought that you'd be able to heal something. You thought that somebody learned their lesson, but then you learned in the past that that was not what it was. But some of you guys, you're scared. You're, you're some of you guys. There's a fear. It's like something that continuously plays in your head. Like there's a fear that it's gonna happen again. Like they're gonna do it again, and that in itself is what's causing. It's like you're manifesting it into your life because you're. It's your thought manifestations. Like you're. It's like you're. It's like somebody's like, I know they. I know they cheated. I know they cheated. I know they cheated. They have no proof. They like. It's, it's like it's just like driving themselves crazy because somebody from their past 
cheated. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a thought manifestations. Then, you know, you stop doing what you need to do. This person stops doing what they need to do. Then sooner or later, there's two different, there's two people that's going in separate directions, looking for what they're longing for in someone else. That's a big energy. That's a big energy. Now in the near future, why do I feel like you see that six of wands came out in the reverse, like you not being victorious, not being successful, not getting the recognition that you want. Why? Because I feel like for some of you guys, we also have that hermit here starting to be withdrawn, starting to detach. Show me this six of wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse because you're not given with the Four of Swords and Judgment. <laughs> Ain't spirit funny. Ain't spirit funny. All right, so Judgment in the reverse, Four of Swords in the reverse, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Scorpio energy in your energy. See that? All these cards came dead smack out in the reverse on that Six of Wands. Why? Because here you go. Things don't work out the way that you want them to work out. Things are not moving forward the way that you want them to move, move forward. For some of you guys that's telling me that you yourself... You, you still got some healing. You yourself, you yourself are withdrawn. You yourself, like, you need to stop fighting the funk itself. Judgment here, like, this is making a bad decision, a bad judgment call. For some of you guys, this is like you making a bad judgment call. And then what happens is then now you, now you're, sh now, see, I got that energy in that last reading. Then now you, 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 you done fucked up your own shit. Like, <laughs> Like because of that, that 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 nugget up there. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit spirit. Two of Pentacles with the lovers in reverse. See that separation. Two of Pentacles. Like for some of you guys, I can hear somebody telling saying that you're crazy. And I love you. I'm not saying you're crazy. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> eight of Cups. Look at that. And Eight of Cups came out like this. Like you guys kind of just being like not sure what you want and you're driving somebody crazy. Five of Swords. Somebody here is going to feel like you full of drama. Like somebody here is like, I don't want to fuss and fight with you. Somebody's going to be like, you're crazy. Like that's what I'm getting here in that energy. Like somebody's going to be like, oh no, I ain't got time for this. Like this is like somebody, like that's the thing. Like I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of like you need to like you need to decide what it is that you truly want there's a big energy here of very soon you guys need to decide what it is that you want for one because you don't want to lose out on something good or something that you actually actually want um it's like you don't want to sabotage because this is kind of giving me a sabotage energy self-sabotaging that's kind of what i'm getting in this energy and i feel like for a lot of you guys there's an energy here of you getting an opportunity to either reconcile something or move on to something new. See that? Soulmate energy. True soulmate energy. But there's an energy here of the past really have done, like you, the past has really kind of done a number there. That's kind of what I'm getting in that energy. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll, fo you'll look forward to exercising. And it becomes its own reward. When I, 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 what I feel for this energy is like practice makes perfect. Like practice communication, practice speak, like practice telling someone how you feel, practice being open and honest. Like, I feel like that's kind of what I'm getting here in this energy. Like practice thinking thoughts of manifestations of something positive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're dealing with somebody here right now, present moment, and this person does something good, let's speak that good into the world like what 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 characteristics do you appreciate about this person what gestures what what is it what activities what actions does this person make or are you vi vice versa that like if somebody is like oh they buy like they buy you flowers it's like it's like 
like practice that. Like I feel like it's just like thinking of the positives, not the negatives. For some of you guys, it's like there's an energy here of like thinking of a lot of negatives from your past, even if dealing with the same person. But it's like wallowing into that into that energy versus like truly like going towards something. It's not all bad. If you're still with this person, if you're still wanting to be with this person, or if this is someone new, for someone new, how much bad could they have done if you barely even know them? Like, but if it's somebody from the past, how much bad could they have really been if you're still trying with this person or you still want to try with this person? So I want, I feel like Spirit wants you guys to really and truly try to think of the positives so you can manifest more positive into your relationship, into this relationship or whatever new relationship you guys come into big energy big energy yeah all right my loves that is what i have for you guys until next time